Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today we are going to explain more on gestures, which are vital if you use Loopy Pro, particularly on your iPad, and which is what you will do to configure your loops, your UI, etc, etc. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with uh, growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so as you um, can see on the screen, we have uh, two uh, loops which are recorded. The first one just says one. 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 And the second one just says two. 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 Okay. So as you um, have seen in other tutorials, if you click and hold and swipe shortly, you have this menu which allows you to select to clear the loop or to re-record it as well. You also uh, know that if you click and swipe up, whether I click of course with your mouse, in this case as I'm recording a tutorial, but it could be your finger, right? If you touch and swipe up, you have access to further uh, details on the screen. Additionally, um, you know, you can click and hold and um, move that loop to another clip like so. And of course you can move it back. You can also use two fingers. So in this case, I don't use the mouse, but if I put my two fingers on the second clip and I hold as I move to another clip, you duplicate that. If you click on a clip and do a Long, long swipe, you clear straight away that clip. The other thing as well, if you have two clips like uh, this one, which one says one, the other one says two, if you click and hold on one and you move it to the next one, it will do automatically merge. So let's play. One, two, one, two, one, two. Of course, you can also click and do to go back to the um, original states of both clips. So where can you configure all these gestures? Well, if you click and swipe up and you scroll down right at the bottom, you have this menu, which gives you access to gestures. And this is where you see all, um, all the gestures which are pre-recorded. For example, on if you tap here, it will do a play stop of the clip, which is default action. It will record if the um, clip is empty and you can see that the, you can deactivate that and it will record on press, which avoid the recording on release. So you see these two are uh, um, activated. Now, what you can also see is it says global setting, which means, look, so if I click on a clip to record, okay, at the moment it will say no input because I removed the mi the microphone, but let me add that back in because it interferes with uh, with the recording okay let me show you it will start to record right but if i was to for example and let's um, um, mute these uh, like so there you go if i was to for example swipe up, go to the gesture at the bottom and deactivate that record if it is empty. Have a look, it will not do anything now. And that's because um, that is a global setting, so it will disable that also for other clips. Indeed, if you go back to the hamburger menu and you go for the global setting for all the clips here, you will probably find that record if empty, there you go, is set to off. You can re-enable it from there, or you can go back to the clip itself and then go inside the gesture menu to where you will see that the record if empty is now back on. That is what it means by global settings, so it affects all the different clips. And let's remove now that uh, microphone as well, and let's deactivate the mixer. So, of course, you can do all sorts of things. Um, with gesture. So let's explore a little bit more. So under gesture, you can say, uh, you see a two finger tap, it says play and stop record, which is interesting. That is uh, how you can do overdubbing, right? 
So you're going to override on uh, your uh, recording. So you just uh, click again with two fingers on top of a clip where you already recorded and you can record again over that clip. OK, which uh, is really nice. And I'm sure if you use uh, your microphones uh, and you record the vocals, for example, then, of course, that will come um, that, will, that will come handy if you want to do it, of course, in the particular um, way. But let's go back to the uh, gestures. Um, menu. You can see here that, um, for example, your swipe, so it says show clear clip menu, which is what it does. And when you do a, a normal swipe, it asks you if you want to clear the clip or re-record. So that is where it is defined. You cannot change that, of course. If you s swipe up, that is where it says you, it will show the details. And as well, if you do a long swipe, it will clear clip immediately. So as you can see, you can do all sorts of things here. For example, you can say, um, uh, let's see, a long press down here. We just click on plus and then we just say, um, show the detail screen. Let's close. So we go to a particular clip and we click and hold. Oops, two. Oh, I've done it for this one. Here we go. You see that the clip uh, is, uh, sorry, the detail screen is showing up. And that's quite interesting because I, I've done that at clip level, of course, and therefore that was not applicable here on uh, the um, color uh, group yellow. And that is why, if you remember a moment ago, I showed you um, the overall clip setting. So the gesture in which I've changed in this case were specifically at clip level and let me show you that again let's go back to the gestures and as you can see uh, scrolling at the bottom it says long press it doesn't say it's uh, a global settings and of course if you want to remove that swipe to the left and select delete as you can see you have a merge drag drag and um Here's where you have your merge clip as a default action, which you can also disable, which uh, is really nice. So the things that you cannot disable as a gesture are the long swipe to clear the clip immediately, the swipe up for the show details, and um, the swipe for the clear and re-record, and the two finger tap for uh, um, the um, play and stop record. And of course, you cannot stop the play and stop clip uh, from a top perspective, but the others, you can, uh, of course, change them. And, um, and and that's very useful indeed. So this is where you can create your own gestures and for change the way you operate with clips as you, as you use Loopy Pro, which um, as you progress in learning how to use the application and you go into complex settings and production, I can guarantee you will become very, very useful to be able to customize the gestures according to your liking. Okay, I hope you found these um, useful. Just a quick introduction on how to use gestures. And um, I see you in the next tutorial where we start to uh, explore more uh, complex topics. Thank you very much. Bye.